Howdy, gang. Back with a new modded series. Fasten your seatbelts, because this is Dawncraft. First thing you're going to want to do is speak to this little fella here. Hail, fellow. You're finally awake. Welcome to our world. You must be confused as to why you ended up here and who you are speaking to, no? Well, regardless, I'll begin my disquisition as I do with every adventurer summoned here. You are summoned here to defeat the Ender Dragon. Fabled beasts like giants, werewolves, and even other dragons started appearing two winters ago, wreaking havoc and disrupting the balance of our realm. Our elders told us that the Ender Dragon has been blighted by a certain malicious deity, and that both the dragon and the deity must be destroyed to bring peace to our realm. Thus, we call forth your aid, brave adventurer. Obtain at least twelve mystic eyes and use them to locate and open the gateway to the end. A few of these eyes can be crafted, but most are held by powerful entities, we don't know who or where these entities are, but the native inhabitants might have a clue. Look for their guildmasters. They are most knowledgeable when it comes to these matters. You will need to get stronger, way stronger. The native inhabitants may also teach you different fighting skills, if you treat them well, at least. As a general rule of thumb, don't attack or steal from them. They are not a forgetful bunch. They are, however, forgiving if you pay off your sin through their ledger chest. Also here, take a spirit orb, collect four of them to upgrade your health or stamina. If you ever see one of my kind, interact with them and prove to them your prowess and intellect, and they will surely give you something in return. If you ever forget this information, an adventurer told me once he jotted it down in a place called the Wiki. He said a seasoned adventurer would know what that means. Oh my gosh, the wiki. I wish you well on your journey, my sweetie. Expect tough obstacles, no kidding, and roadblocks ahead. But know that they will only make you stronger. God be with ye. Alright, and little fella pops into a spirit orb. What do you say we raid that village? I will see you when I'm done. Well, gang, looks like there is a pillager place here. And on a side note, I did find three iron blocks, so I have full iron armor now. And, as a bonus, I did take the time to go get a backpack, so that'll help later. This pillager place will be helpful if we need pillagers in the future, I'm sure. I've decided to sneak around the pillager place a bit. So far, so good. I'll let you know how it goes. Guys, I did forget to mention that I was able to upgrade my backpack. Because I had enough extra iron. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if maybe this is enough gold to upgrade it to the next level. If it is, I've had a really OP start. Oh my gosh. Gold backpack. It was enough. Holy Toledo. I assure you, there are no cheats involved. This is just a really OP start for some reason. On with the raiding of the pillager place. Alright, gang. I somehow managed to survive that. But check this out. This is just what I have in my inventory. And of course, the backpack has even more. Insane. No? Alright. Let's head to this village. This is going to be fun. I will see you there. Alright, gang, we're at the village. And hey, free suit of chainmail armor. And there we go. Perfect. And this is our home. Complete with a free iron ingot, 
free gold ingot, and of course, free emerald. <laughs> this is a good house. I like it. Next step in our adventure, unlock fishing. You want to learn about fishing? It takes patience, perseverance, and most importantly, a good teacher. I can teach you how to fish for 15 emeralds. Steep, what do you say? Sure. Now we just grab our emeralds, find them, and there we go. Awesome. Quest completed. Now, let me just click on them again with an empty hand. Sorry. And perfect. Not that hard now, was it? Don't swing around too much, though. It scares away the fish. No kidding. Fishing rod use! Yay! Gang, I got lucky! Extra suit of iron armor. On a side note, I did a little off-camera quest or two, and I believe I've leveled up the fishing rod while trying to actually unlock the trade contract for the Fisherman's Guild. So that was an accident, but... I guess we'll see eventually if it was a happy accident. So I've decided to try making a new weapon. This seems good. And after a bit of work, I've managed to get a pole. So let's try it out. Awesome. All right. And while we're at it, why don't we take our handy dandy sword here that I made and make an iron spear. That way, we have a couple more weapons, because I did get an iron pike from this thing, so that's going to help. But let's put our spear away. And, of course, do ourselves a favor and make another sword, because we might need that later. Put our halberd away, and we are good. This tree should help us with Ars Nouveau later. So let's go ahead and chop this down. That might take a bit, because it does seem to have that mod where you can chop the entire tree down. Alright, let's take on this guy's quest. Can you help me get something? All right. Do you know that spruce wood is best for making the shaft of an arrow? Doesn't matter either way. Could you get me some of those logs? I need at least four. Okay. Lucky for us, there's one of these places. So we don't really have to go very far. All right, looks like we got three of the logs. Now we just need to find a fourth. All right, gang. So I got him his spruce logs, and this is what he's saying. Huh, all right. 15 emeralds to learn how to use the fletching table. So, looks like I need five more. We'll have to worry about that later. I want to introduce you all to my companion. That's right, this mod pack appears to have a companion mod. This is Camilla Westerberg. Now, I did give her some bread, but she came with this stuff. Interesting enough, you can actually set what they do. So... I've simply set her to guard so she stays put. As it says, it stands at its position, ready for action. So that helps. So she doesn't follow me around and get hurt. Unless I need her to follow me around. 
then I can simply have her follow me, which is easy enough. But this is cool. Let me know what you thought of all of this down in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe, because it really helps me out. And I will see you in the next one.